Hey guys, Steve here from Nostalgia. Just putting a video together to show you guys how to add cheat codes or game shark codes to your hacked PlayStation Classic. It's actually really easy and I'm just going to take you guys through it step by step. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is one, we're going to have to pick a game that we want to apply game shark codes to. And two, we're going to need to find some game shark codes. So there is actually a really awesome website which I use for a lot of different things. Uh, it's called psxdatacenter.com. A lot of you probably know it. Uh, maybe some of you don't. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it's an incredible resource when it comes to PS1 games, PS2 games, or PSP games. Um, if you go ahead to go to psxdatacenter.com, I'll leave the uh, link to that in the description for you guys to check out. And you're going to want to go ahead and click on this button that says enter the PSX data center. And right over here, you've got a whole bunch of different things. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and view the game lists right over here on the top. And we wanna to go to the NTSC-U version game list. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna show us every single game in alphabetical order. And then you've got quick, um, quick look up buttons if you're looking for a specific title. Uh, in this case, I've decided that I want to apply a Game Shark code to Gran Turismo 2. So I'm going to go ahead and click G's. I'm gonna find Gran Turismo 2 right over here and I'm gonna click the info button. And this is gonna give you all the information about the game. You've got a picture of the artwork, you've got the title, you've got the serial numbers, you've got um, the region, you've got the developer, the publisher, even the release date. And then if you go further along, it's got disc information, how many tracks, how many audio tracks, data tracks. Um, and a bunch of other really cool information. You've got different languages, a description of the game, features of the game, and it'll tell you how many players, how many blocks of memory it would have taken. Uh, and then if you keep going down, it's got things like screenshots. And if you keep going below the screenshots, aside from underneath the emulator compatibility, you've got game controls, and then you've got cheat uh, game cheats. So it's got different, I guess, tips or, or codes that you would use in game without a game shark but it also has our game shark codes here so we know 100% that we want to apply game shark uh, code to this game so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do one code so in this case it says both discs slash quick win so we know this works for both the arcade and the simulation disc um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and then I'm gonna minimize it over here and I'm gonna right click on the desktop and I'm gonna go to new and I'm going to open up a new text document and we're going to go ahead and just call that Gran Turismo 2. We're going to double click on that to open it and right away we're just going to paste our information in here. So you can see now we've got a title and then we've got the code here. You'll notice the code is 12 digits total. There's eight digits, oh, sorry, eight digits right up at the front, four at the back and it's separated by space. You do need that space. If you try to just put in the 12 digits straight without a space in between the first eight and the last four, it will not work. Um, and you do need to have some sort of a title. So in this case, it says both discs quick win. We don't need to put both discs in there. So I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to get rid of this little dash at the end as well. So now we've got quick win and then we've got the three code the three 12 digit codes for this game shark code uh, in order to convert this into a proper format we need to include a square bracket and then we need to put an asterisk and then at the end we also need to do the same thing we need to close it off with a square bracket now if you had multiple codes that you wanted to put in all you would do is press enter and then you would put the next code in here and you would follow the same format so if we wanted to add another code we'll choose joker command for example I'll just do this so you guys can actually visually see it. Um, I've gone ahead and pasted it in here. We're gonna go ahead and put that square bracket asterisk and then right at the end here, we're also gonna get rid of all these spaces and then close off that square bracket. Now that that's in there, so we've got two codes here, we're gonna go ahead and hit file and we're gonna save as. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that our uh, USB stick is plugged in, which mine is and I've got that right here. And you can see here's our four folders. We've got um, our games folder, LOL hack system, and then we've got um, our other folder with all these characters here. We're gonna right click here and we're going to create a new folder and we're gonna call this folder cheat codes and we're gonna hit enter. And we're gonna enter into that. And then here, you're gonna see that it wants to save it as a text document. You're gonna click here and you're gonna click all files and then you need to save it as uh, a different extension. So it can't be a text file, it has to be saved as a CHT 
file. So when you change the file type to all files and then you put in Gran Turismo 2.cht, it will save it as the proper format. So that's very important. If you save it as a text file, your PlayStation console and the emulator won't be able to recognize it. So we're gonna go ahead and put Gran Turismo 2.cht. We're gonna save it and perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you inside that folder that it does exist and it is in there. So here's our cheat codes folder and here's our CHT file. If you ever needed to, to edit it, you just right click on it and you could either edit with Notepad++ or you could edit with essentially anything you wanted, right? You could you could edit with Notepad again. Um, I think if you just double click on it, it should open. No, it doesn't. But if you right click on it and open with Notepad++, it will pop up and there's our, there's our information here. So we've got our quick win and we've got our Joker command. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. Everything's good there. And now all we need to do is unplug our um, USB stick, pop it into the console, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. All right, guys, so we've got our PlayStation Classic that's nice and loaded up here. Uh, as you can see, I've got all my games in here. We're just gonna go ahead and navigate to Gran Turismo 2 because that is what we've got our, um, our code set up as. We're gonna go ahead and enter to play it and we're gonna hit OK. Now what we're gonna wanna do is wait for it to load up. As soon as we get to this screen, it's fine if we go ahead and enter the emulation menu. So we want to hold select and press triangle and that'll get us into our menu, our backend menu. We're gonna go ahead and press X on the PCX, sorry, PCSX menu. And there is a little section here that says cheats and if you click on it, there's nothing in there. So you're probably thinking, well, what's going on? Well, first we have to load those cheats into the emulator. So we have to go down to extra stuff and we've got to scroll down to load PCSX cheats. We're gonna hit enter on that. And then as you can see on the top, we've got uh, the slash media. I'm gonna go ahead and press X so that way I can show you in case it takes you back to just this plain X. Or if it doesn't, you're gonna to wanna to go all the way back to this, um, to this slash here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a media folder, which is right here, and we're gonna press X. And then we're gonna look for our cheat codes folder. So you can see all our other folders are here. We want our cheat codes folder, and we're gonna hit X. And then we're gonna look for our file. So we're gonna scroll left and right until we find it. I've only got one in here, Gran Turismo 2. We're gonna go ahead and hit X and it's gonna say six cheats loaded. The reason it says six cheats loaded is because it counts each line as one cheat, even though it's not actually its own cheat. So if you remember in our first cheat, we had a title and then three lines of code. And then our second one was a title and a single line of code. So all together that's six. It says that there was six cheat codes loaded, but there wasn't actually six cheat codes loaded. Um, so next we're gonna go ahead and press the back button, so the circle button, and we're gonna go up to cheats now. So now you can see we've got two different codes here. Uh, we've got quick win and we've got joker command. I'm gonna turn off joker command and I'm just gonna use quick win just for the purposes of this video so you guys can see that it actually works. And I'm gonna hit done, I'm gonna hit back, I'm gonna hit back again, and I'm gonna let the game load up. So one thing actually I wanted to mention is a lot of people were struggling with the Gran Turismo 2 game. Uh, if you guys recall, you've got one game that is uh, in arcade mode and one of them is a simulator. So the, the big thing with the PlayStation Classic is you can't access the second disc unless there's an in-game prompt. So in this case, Gran Turismo, you didn't need one or the other disc to be in to access the second disc, you would just put in either the arcade disc and play that or the simulation disc and play that. And um, what I would recommend doing is actually putting it in two different files or two different folders. So you, you'll have two different images of Gran Turismo uh, on your PlayStation Classic homepage, but each will be labeled differently. So you might wanna label one Gran Turismo Arcade or Gran Turismo 2 Arcade, and then the second game when you scroll over to it, it'll say Gran Turismo 2 Simulation Disc or something like that. And that'll give you access to both discs. But we're gonna go ahead and skip this and I'm gonna show you guys that this cheat code is now active. It's cool, you can edit or you can enter it at any time. Um, if you're in the middle of a game, you can go ahead and enter into the 
PlayStation menu, uh, the select and triangle buttons to get into the back end emulation menu and then go from there. Um, but I've kind of did it right at the beginning. Um, we're going to go ahead and start the game and we're just going to do just a quick lap. So we're just going to do single player. We're going to do a road race, just an easy a class A and let's just pick. I don't know, for the sake of this video, let's do, let's do a Mustang. And automatic transmission racing, it won't matter. I'm gonna have the fastest lap time that anyone's ever had in this. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that load up. And then we're gonna show you guys really quickly how uh, how to get a quick win with a Game Shark code. And there it is. So we have just won. So clearly that kind of takes the fun out of the game. But if you're doing this for specific points or to win cash or to further yourself along in the uh, the career mode, I guess you could do it. Um, I don't. I wouldn't recommend this specific code because it completely defeats the purpose of the game. But uh, as you can see, you could pretty much put in any code. So if you've got a game and you want to use a cheat code, this is the way to do it. Uh, keep in mind the only types of codes that will work with this emulator is GameShark. No other codes are going to work with it. So just make sure whatever codes you put in are GameShark. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys very much for your support and watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. But other than that, I'm going to leave you be. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys again later.